Okay, Deb, I'm going to just run a scenario here. And remember, this is illustration purposes only. Uh, assuming a $380,000 balance at your current 6.5, uh, 29 years left. I just want to show you what happens when you compare it against 7%. Uh, assuming that income, when you get your rent all uh, taken care of and expenses and the property taxes and insurance, when we compare and look down here, um, we'll have the house paid off in 15 years as opposed to 29 years, uh, saving 221,000 interest because your total interest paid over the here using the line of credit is 244, whereas in a regular 30 year, it's 465. But remember, you have access to this money. So here's an amortization table. If you were to scroll down, let's say you're looking at seven years from now, that's right here is the equity in a traditional mortgage, which you do not have access to, even if you make extra payments. Whereas over here, you would have 127,000 in equity, but all this time from here going down, you have access to, all right? So when you compare all this to here, this is very little and you have no access. Here, it's a lot and you have access and you're gonna save money. And even at a higher interest rate, you're saving money because you're paying down the, uh, the loan faster. And again, your house becomes your own bank. Your house becomes your checking for everything, your savings, everything you need. Now watch this. Let's say that if I raise this to even 8%, okay? Whoops, 8%. All right. Even at 8%, we're still saving $132,000, okay? Let's just see what happens if I put it at nine. Now we start to lose, okay? Now, so we know what the threshold is. This is something that you play around with and you can play around with income. You know, if for some reason uh, that, if for some reason, you know, you can keep your expenses below 3,000, not including the, the monthly payment, um, you know, even just by changing it a little bit. And like you said, if you have bonuses, let's bring this back to 7.5 as an average. 253 versus 2000, 295. So if you're able to bring this down, look at that, it's saving a lot more. So every, every dollar counts, you know? So this is, this is a calculator that you get with the course. You can play with this. I teach you how to use it. And you know, whether this can, you know, this can apply to you now, this can apply to um, your friends, your family. I mean, you can run this calculator scenario for anything. And it's very nice because it automatically calculates it for you. I mean, you can compare against, you know, if you have a friend that has, uh, I had, I had a client as an example, she had 2.5% on a $1.2 million loan, right? So you would think, that she's not going to change it. And let's say I ran it at 9% comparison. So I'm going nine versus 2.5, but she made 35,000 a month with 15,000 a month in expenses. Now she told me she's never giving up this loan because she said, this is free money, right? Well, it's not really free because you're still spending 488,000 in interest in her scenario there. And even at 9%, because I'm accelerating it and only taking 6.8 um, years, my interest is 415, 480. I'm still saving her $72,000 using 9% against her 2.5. You see the power of this? This is crazy. And again, she wouldn't have access over here, which over here, she does, okay? So a lot of powerful stuff here using this and you can play with it uh, after you learn the system. Uh, so if you have any questions, uh, just let me know and I will have this sent to you in email as well. Take care.